hello and welcome to this session in this session we will see how to create a local rest api or we will create a local server and host our local rest api and then we can use that api for testing in the earlier session we had used a api that was available publicly and when we use these public apis there are some limitations for example we cannot actually create a resource on the server when we do a post request now to handle that or to overcome those limitations we are going to create our own rest api and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and you can follow with me step by step you can follow this either you, if you are on windows or mac operating system so i will go on my windows first and i will show you i will go and search for json server this is json hyphen server this is the tool we are going to create our rest api and if you go here this is our github link here you can see it can create a complete fake rest api for testing and if you scroll down you will get some documentation here and here if you go to the getting started section here we have this command that we can use to install json server so it is a npm command or a node command so that means we should be having node installed on our system if i go to my command prompt and i open the command prompt in case you can use your command line as administrator you can do that you can just go to your command line and you can do a right click and run as administrator even if you're not able to do that or uh, should be fine you can still follow along so here if i say node space hyphen v or if i say node space hyphen hyphen version in case you get the version of node that means node.js is installed i can also check the version of npm so npm is also available on my system and you can see the version if i go on my mac and go to terminal and the same thing i will do here i will say node space hyphen v and npm space hyphen v and if you are getting the version number here that means node and npm are available on your system now just in case if it is not available you can uh, go to google and search for node.js download and this will take you to the node.js website that is node.js.org and you can download the installer as per your operating system and then install it so once you install node.js you will be able to get the node.js version from the command line and then after that you can run this command npm install minus g uh, json server so you can open a new command prompt after you have installed node.js and then run this command and this will install json server on your system in case you get any error you can start your command prompt as a administrator and then try again you can uh, use the minus g option for having json server installed globally on the system or you can remove the minus g option and once this is done you can run the command the next command is this one json server hyphen hyphen watch db.json now db.json is a file that should be available on the system from where it will get the data in case it is not available on the system it will create a new file with some dummy data so let me copy this command and this will be the these steps will be same if you are on mac as of now i am doing this on a windows system so i will run this command json hyphen server hyphen hyphen watch db dot json and now you can see it has started the server and this is the location localhost 3000 on your system also if you see here db dot json doesn't seem to exist and therefore it has created a new file db.json with some default data and it will be present on the location where you started your json server so in my case it is c users administrator if i go to my c and if i go to my users administrator location you can see we have a db.json file created and let me open this with any editor like notepad plus plus and here is the data created so here we have posts resource comments and profile and this will should be available on the server as well if i go on my browser and go to localhost 3000 you can see i have got this message you are successfully running json server and these are the three resources if i go to 
localhost 3000 forward slash posts and hit enter it should show me the posts let me also go to the command prompt and hit enter sometimes it gets stuck so you can see I am getting the posts here uh, also let me show you in a split window so you can see here both the things so here you can see this is my browser and this is the file from where it is getting the data now I am going to remove all this from the file and I am going to create our own data or our own REST API for testing so here I will give a curly bracket start and a curly bracket stop because we are creating a JSON data and now I will say I will create a resource for users and give a colon and a square bracket start and a square bracket close so this is an array or this is a resource users inside this array I am going to create data for users inside curly brackets so I will be using these curly brackets and now I will say I will create the data I will say first name and I will say first name I will give some value here within quotes give a comma go to next line I will say last name and a colon and the value for last name and a comma and let us say I want to give a subject ID and I will give some ID of the sub of a subject so what I'm going to do here is I'm also going to create another resource called subjects and I will do the referencing between users resource and the subjects resource using the subject ID and then let me also say I will have a ID of the user and I will say this user has ID 1 so I have created a users resource and this is the data now I will save this and now if I go to the browser and refresh the server localhost 3000 you can see now we have got the users resource and 1x means there is a single data or single element inside our array and if I now go here and say use uh, localhost 3000 forward slash users and hit enter you can see our data is now displayed here whatever we have added in our file so a very simple API request let me add some more users I will copy this give a comma and paste the data again here I will say Henry and I will say Ford and I will say subject ID is 2 and this is again 2 and again I will copy this give a comma and paste it now just in case uh, when you refresh your URL on the browser if you are not able to get the response make sure the syntax is correct and if you go to your command prompt and see you will get the logs and the error message here in case there is any error you will get it here so in my case the syntax is fine so I'm getting the response here so I'm adding one more user I will say this is uh, Graham and last name is Bell I will say subject is 1 and user ID or the ID is 3 so I will save this and again refresh my browser and you can see all these three users are available in the users resource now I'm going to create another resource called subject so I will go to the end to the close of the square bracket give a comma and then I will give the resource name called subjects and again give a square bracket start and a square bracket close and inside the square bracket I will give a curly bracket start and a curly bracket close and here I can start giving the data for subject so I will say name name let us say is automation and then I will say ID and ID I will say 1 so this ID will be referred in the users resource I will copy this and give a comma and paste it again and again I will give another subject I will say this is DevOps and ID is 2 and save this and now if I go to my browser and go to 
localhost 3000 I should see two resources so here if I see I can see there are two resources and if I go to localhost 3000 forward slash subjects you can see I am getting the subjects if I say forward slash subjects and if I say forward slash one and hit enter I am getting the details of the subject with ID one now if I say forward slash subjects forward slash one and say forward slash users so this should show me all the users having subject one so you can see I am getting two users that have subject one I can also say forward slash subjects and then a question mark to give a parameter and I am saying name equals automation or if I just say name equals DevOps and hit enter you can see I am getting the subject that has name DevOps so you can also do parameterization or add params like this now uh, I have to test this in Excel queue so I will go to my Excel queue I will go to my account on Excel queue and now here uh, I'm going to create a new context so I will create a new context I will say this is library context we have seen all these basics in the earlier session I will say local rest API and save and continue and here I will go to the actions create a new action I will say this is test local rest apis and it has already taken the context from here i will say save and continue and then i will click on this api drop down and select rest and for starting i will just say i will get users resource this is just for starting and then i will show you a post how to create a resource so this is the URL is this one so I'm just going to copy this and provide it here in the endpoint URL and it is of get we do not have any headers I will say send request and you can see we are getting the options we are if i go and say expand all we are getting all the data here so i can also add verifications here i can go to the status and add a verification for status as well and i will save this so we have got two statements so if i go to the action i have got two statements generated first one is to invoke the api and the second one is to do the verifications now this is fine i'm not going to run the run it as of now i want to uh, do a post and check so for that i will go to the resource users so i will again create a api let me go and create a rest api so this is for creating a user i will say create user and the endpoint is this user's resource so i will copy this endpoint method is post and i do not need any headers i will go next and here i have to add the body or the payload so i'm just going to copy this and i will add it here and here i'm just going to change if i go to the outline i'm going to change first name to thomas second name or the last name to edison and let us say subject id is 2 and this id i do not need because this will be uh, auto generated so i can go back to draw and i can remove the id from here and this is fine so now i can send the request and you can see I have got the response the status the headers the response I can also do verifications I will just save this 
and now because i have actually sent a request if i go and refresh the user's resource you can see it has actually created a new user here and if i go to the file uh, let me also split my screen and here if i go to the file i will reload this and you will see a new user is created here so this is how you can do a post and you can create a new user if i go back to my excel queue and i will again create a new api request for rest and let us say if i want to update a user i will say update user the here i have to give the particular user id so this is id 4 i will say forward slash users and forward slash 4 it gives me this user i'm going to copy this url and add it here in the endpoint url and i will say this is put and i will say next and here again i have to give the endpoint url so i will just copy this and i will paste it here i will say here i do not need id i will make some changes here let us say i will say here peter and some last name and i will say send request uh, this format is valid okay there was a comma here now let me check the outline this is fine i will say send request so you can see this is all fine if i go to my browser and check the resource refresh the browser you can see it has changed here if i go to my file and say reload you will see it is changed here so you can do a put like this if you have to do a patch let me save this and i will again create a api request i will say patch data for user and the endpoint will be the same endpoint of this user with id 4 and patch is for doing some partial modification i will select patch and go to next i will give this let us say i just want to change the last name i will say here and within curly brackets i will say last name should be uh, let us say parker and if i go to the outline this is fine i will say send request and i have got a response back i will say save if i go to my browser and refresh you can see it has updated here if i go to my file and reload you can see the data is updated here as well so this is how you can quickly create a rest api locally on your system on your local server and test it using excel queue i hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching